The weekend is upon us, and apparently, I'm going off the deep end. So let's take a break from petroglyphs and the squatter man, and today, instead turn the spotlight on NASA's Mars images. Could they be faked and actually recorded here on Earth at the largest uninhabited island on this planet? Maybe. But then again, maybe not. Devon Island, located in the Canadian Arctic archipelago. This is the largest uninhabited island on Earth, spanning over 55,000 square kilometres. This is an austere, barren landscape of rocky, wind-scoured terrain, permafrost and ancient impact craters. Often described as Mars on Earth, Devon Island has long attracted the attention of scientists. However, this stark environment has also become the centre of a growing conspiracy theory that NASA has faked footage of the Martian surface and filmed it on Devon Island. The appeal of Devon Island lies in its striking similarities to the planet Mars. The Hogton impact crater on this island is remarkably preserved due to the cold and dry conditions. And it's this environment that makes it a valuable analogue site for simulating Mars missions. Since the late 1990s, NASA, along with the Mars Society and other institutions, has conducted numerous field experiments on Devon Island through the Hogton Mars Project HMP. These simulations include testing robotic rovers, conducting geological surveys and practicing astronaut protocols, all aimed at preparing for future human missions to the Red Planet. Photographs from these expeditions show a reddish, desolate terrain eerily reminiscent of images apparently beamed back from the planet Mars from rovers such as the Curiosity and the Perseverance rover. This visual overlap, combined with the island's isolation, has fueled online speculation that NASA might be using Devon Island to stage its Mars footage. Side-by-side -side comparisons of Mars rover images and photographs from Devon Island do show a resemblance. Rocky plains, reddish hues and similar topography. Skeptics argue that NASA could easily alter colour filters and lighting to simulate the Martian atmosphere. And get this, in the early Mars rover images, Viewers claim to spot what appeared to be small animals, like rats, equipment parts, or even background anomalies. Devon Island is remote and heavily restricted in terms of access. Only approved researchers and government-linked personnel can visit this island. This isolation makes Devon Island an ideal site for covert filming operations. All Images from Mars rovers are processed and released by NASA, and this has led some to claim that the agency could manipulate or manufacture the photographs. The theory suggests that if Mars is unreachable or uninhabitable, NASA could have staged convincing simulations to maintain funding and to maintain public interest. And it should be noted that most of the data returned from the planet Mars includes not only the images, but also seismic readings, atmospheric data, and chemical analysis that would be extremely difficult to fake in a consistent and scientifically valid manner. Over the years, amateur astronomers and independent researchers have been able to confirm Mars missions trajectories and telemetry data, verifying their authenticity. The Hogton Mars project itself is a transparent, published research initiative with extensive documentation available to the public. But Devon Island is undeniably one of Earth's most Mars-like environments. But its remote location, visual similarity to Mars and controlled access have also made it fertile ground for conspiracy theories. What do you guys think about this? Is Devon Island a stage for deception? Or is it a vital stepping stone in humanity's quest to reach for the stars? Comments below, and as always guys, thank you 
for watching.